We've got Chris, Bob, and Art from Sawyer's Band. We're going to do a Periscope Q&A with them from the questions you guys submitted earlier on Twitter. So I'm just going to give it just a few minutes. Looks like we got a good crowd going. So we're going to start with the questions now. First of all, I mean, I just introduced you guys. We've got Chris, Bob, Art. But I wanted to see um, if you guys could give us a little background, a musical background, um, what instruments you play, and how long you've been playing. Well, I play guitar, and I've been playing since I was like 13. I've um, been playing for a long time, many different bands, different styles of music, um, you know, and then uh, Sawyer stuff is kind of right, right along the lines of the stuff that I like to play, so it's a great gig. Um, I've been playing since I was around five because my mother was really into classic rock, you know, so she, you know, I showed an in interest in drums, so she was supportive and I played in, you know, a lot of rock bands, um, I played with Chris here for many different projects, and I did like a reggae band and I've been in like heavy metal kind of crummy bands in <laughs> high school years and a jazz duo thing and just, you know, a little everything. Cool. What about you, Art? Oh, I started playing drums first, I think. Actually, no, I played baritone horn first in a school band. Um, played that for like two years. I played the drum set for about 11 years or so. Uh, started playing guitar maybe like six or seven years ago and started playing bass. I, I mean, I messed around on bass for a while, but started playing it seriously maybe like a year ago. So, yeah. Alright, so how was the band formed and how long, I know Art, you've known Sawyer since he was born, <laughs> yep. but how long have Chris and Bob known Sawyer? Well, we just started working with Sawyer within the past year, really. But we both knew his uh, family, his parents. So they knew of us as musicians, and uh, when Sawyer needed a band, they got in touch with us, and we got together. We came up to the farm one time to see if we hit it off, and we did. And here we are. So did you guys follow him on The Voice? And did oh, you yeah. ever think, hey, I'm a musician. I could go on tour with him I, if he needs I somebody. I never thought it would actually come to fruition, you know. I always figured someone would interfere and say, oh, we have a professional band for you. Mm -hmm. But it was in the back of your mind. You were like, I really want that gig. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never dreamed it would happen. <laughs> Okay, so Sawyer has said if you guys wanted a name for the band, that that was fine with him. Do you guys want a name? Are you cool just being Sawyer's band? Maybe someday if we keep going, you know, maybe something will develop. I, I, can't, I can think of a million wacky names, but... Nothing that sticks? Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. Someday, maybe. Yeah, it, has to, right. it has to sort of happen organically. Yeah, you know? exactly. Something we'll hear something and it'll click and we'll say, yeah, there it is. But <laughs> haven't, haven't heard it yet. Mm -hmm. We're just saw your I'm happy, happy to be just nothing. Now. Exactly. <laughs> just happy to be here, huh? Right, absolutely. So, who were your musical influences? Um, oh God, yeah. I, I, I'm into like Zeppelin and uh, classic rock and heavy blues bass rock. Um, yeah, pretty much. You know. Yeah, same with me. I like blues. I like Jimi Hendrix, probably my number one guitar influence, you know. But I mean, I like all styles of music, really, you know. Anything that I really like is kind of an influence. You know? What about you, Art? Yeah, it's the same. It gets pretty uh, out there. Uh, I like a lot of. I, I probably started playing drums because of Led Zeppelin, and that was, you know, I really love their music, but I also love Jimi Hendrix and uh, I don't know for the past long time I, I don't know, I've been getting into like progressive metal and like fusion music and I like uh, Pink Floyd is another one of my huge influences and Tool and Richelieu which Sawyer may have mentioned them yeah. gotten those 
Yeah, that's kind of the big ones. Pink Floyd, Tool. Yeah. So do you guys, when you're in the van going down the road, is everybody listening to their own music or is it like community music? Uh, both. Yeah. A little bit both. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> I'll get a hold of the radio and like start playing normal stuff and <laughs> slowly get a little crazy. And then like, I, I'll put on my headphones <laughs> let them have a break. It's like early in the mornings, everybody will use headphones and then maybe later in the yeah. night. The stereo goes on, <laughs> and whoever you know, whoever's we, in control. We've been there, taking turns on being a DJ in the band. So, what has been your touring experience prior to this? Haven't, haven't yeah. done major touring. I've done a lot of gigs. I, I play in a couple other bands that, you know, from Connecticut, so kind of that general New England area, and a couple other gigs out of state here and there, but. Um, I haven't, this is my first time out west, seeing the country, doing gigs, so it's great. Yeah, nothing <laughs> strong together, yeah. Yeah, my, my first, act, like, legitimate gigs was opening for Langhorn Slim with Sawyer last time we were on the west coast. Which is awesome. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so, um, how's it going so far? Like, are y'all liking it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is everybody getting along? Are y'all ready to oh, kill each yeah. other yet? We love each other. No, we all die. Still yeah, getting to know each other, really. Still getting to know each other, you know. That's yeah. so you're forming a bond. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So were you guys full-time musicians prior to this, or did y'all leave jobs? Or no, I actually I worked with Sawyer's uncle and his father. And that's how I got this. But I've always been uh, in construction, framing, so. Yeah, day job. Yeah, I've been um, always doing gigs, and it's always been a, a nice supplement, but I haven't been making a living at it, you know, yeah. uh, exclusively. But um, now I am, so. That's awesome. This summer I am. <laughs> yeah, uh, for me, I worked also with my uncle, uh, Carl, and Sawyer's dad, and various other boring jobs but uh, <laughs> you know it, I wasn't making money off of music but it was kind of my focus in life even though I had regular jobs but now yep. the job and uh, always kept purpose. the job that <laughs> yeah. was able to sort of have free time to, to continue to pursue music yeah you know so what other hobbies or interests do you guys have outside of music Oh, I can start. I, I don't know. Um, I like uh, like all forms of art. I like to browse uh, uh, different sort of like web collections of people's art and stuff like that. I uh, I like to go hiking a lot, and I also like uh, reading books about like the nature of consciousness and reality and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Computer science, <laughs> physics. <It's deep>. Yeah. <laughs> <That's a deep. laughs> I'm afraid I'm not that interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I work and kind of eat and go to sleep. And it's very, you know. So you're a foodie, huh? Well, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm a foodie. Yeah. I like to travel. That's probably my other thing. I don't do it as much as I'd like to. I kind of a little more in the past. But, you know, I took some trips to Europe and uh, really the history, you know. I like uh historical sites and buildings and that kind of stuff is real cool. Okay, so relationship status. Who's available and who's open to dating fans? <laughs> Probably all of yes, them. Yes, yeah. all three. Yeah. <laughs> so you're all available. Yeah. Ladies, you yeah, hear that? I so. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does anyone have any kids? No. no. Nope. Even better, no strings attached. No. <laughs> All right, what's been the highlight of this tour for you guys so far, as well as your favorite venue to play? I so gotta far? say, this place is uh, is probably the best room so far. Yeah. I mean, we played some great clubs already, but this is you know more of a theater. Yeah, big stage. This this might. It's be, really pretty. Uh, I'll have to, I'll take a picture for you guys later. Uh, yesterday we played Lola's room in Portland, and that was really cool. And we had a little field trip afterwards. We went to uh, Voodoo Donut. So that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I actually saw you guys walking by and was like, where are they oh, going? Really? Their van's yeah. the other direction. Yeah. <laughs> so I was curious. 
Now I know. <laughs> yeah, same thing. I, I thought the uh, the soil dove in Denver would, would be too nice. Like, we wouldn't be able to find and have another gig that was as good as that. But here we are at another possibly even more beautiful and luxurious venue. <laughs> so, um, how... Sorry, are you guys writing new music on the road with Sire? Um, not really writing no. not on the road. together so much. He's, he's just got songs. Yeah, Sawyer's yeah. constantly has stuff happening. When he's ready, he'll want to buy us, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, Hopefully. when we're doing our band rehearsals, he'll often present some of his new songs yeah. and we'll kind of jam on them and feel them out and see where, where that goes. And right. Our but, schedule uh, yeah. is kind of tight. You know, we're, we've been just from the hotel to the gig, back to the hotel, get some sleep, and yep. be up early, get to the next show. So, it's not a lot of time really for that. So, what's your favorite song of all yours to play on stage? Mm. I like Four Pockets. Favorite song? They're all good, but I like Four Pockets. <laughs> I like Stranger at the end. That's yeah. a good That's rocker, I guess. Yeah, I'd say either Four Pockets or Not My Girl. And the, the, I also feel like a little more sentimental with those ones. It reminds me of like playing at farmer's markets and stuff. And so that's cool. Okay, aside from your instruments, this is kind of a silly question. Heads up. What's one thing that you could not leave home without? Like, did someone bring a stuffed animal to sleep with? I'll go first. Uh, <laughs> The thing I can't leave home without is a small portable fan because I need to have noise and wind blowing on me while I sleep. <laughs> I'm the same exact way. Yep. What about you guys? I don't really have a good answer for that. You know, somebody asked me that a couple weeks back on Twitter, and I said it was my Sonicare toothbrush. Because <laughs> ever, ever since I started using that thing, I haven't had a single cavity. So it's been, but I lost it in the hotel a couple nights back. Uh, oh so no! I, I gotta pick myself up a new Sonic. You know now you're gonna get like a bazillion Sonic hey, toothbrushes you know, in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys pass the time while traveling? I sit in the music. Yeah, I zone out and look out the window. The yeah. scenery on the way, all the travel has been enough to kind of keep you going. You know? Yeah, listening to a lot of music. I I wanted to read in the car, but it's. Uh, Sickening, <laughs> so I re I listen to music. <laughs> Funniest thing that has happened so far on the road. Well, I don't know if it's funny, <laughs> but uh, today we found that our van, uh, the roof vent leaks. Yeah, we were in Portland, it rained all night, and we went to move the van, and had a little waterfall happen in the back seat. So that's, I don't know, that's funny. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> after been, the fact it's funny, but what happened was funny to somebody else watching yeah. us, you know, <laughs> trying to tape a garbage bag. And, and so who had to sit on those wet seats? Uh, Bob. Uh, me a little bit. It wasn't <laughs> bad. I was driving. <laughs> so is there, are you typically the driver or y'all take turns? Uh, we, you know, Kirsten and I do probably the majority and then uh, Bob and Lori make up the rest. <laughs> so do you guys have any pre-performance rituals? Uh, I, I like to play my uke, ukulele or listen to Tool a lot of times. <laughs> I, um, I do not. Yeah, not really. You know, we just, uh, just get ready, play a little guitar, get loose, loosened up. And... Did you guys add any uh, strange things to the rider, like green M&Ms or uh, something uh, like that? Yeah. Strange? No, we make sure we have beef jerky. Yeah, yeah and, and fruits and vegetables so we don't have vitamin deficiencies. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in the green room? Um, to eat. We're, yeah. We're, we're getting dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah that'll be my venue. favorite. Yeah, <laughs> good dinner. Yeah, it's very exciting when it's you actually have a venue that's preparing your a dinner for you. Yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> as, you, as soon as we're done here, we're gonna have dinner. So you all like the Thai food, the Asian? That's what the in case people in Periscope don't know, that's the yeah that's I love, what they have. style I like tonight. Have pretty much all food, but yeah, I'm excited about the food tonight. I'm mm. sure Sawyer is too. Mm. Mm. So. Um, do you have nicknames for each other? No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, 
hadn't made it that far, huh? Okay, I love this question. Will Chris and Bob grow their hair out too and bring back the hair band era? Um, I, I can't. It gets, it gets to a certain point and I just, I got as soon as we got out here on the first date, I got a haircut. Mm -hmm. I doubt I will. <laughs> Um, everybody wants to know, will Art and Bob get Twitter accounts, please? Um, maybe someday when I have, I don't know, my own material out as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too good with the phone. I don't play with my phone a lot. I'm just, I don't know, technology challenge. So. Okay, so how do you feel about Team Sawyer and all the ten attention you guys are receiving? Well... I mean, I don't feel like we particularly receive a whole ton of attention, but the fans, Team Sawyer, you guys like cheering and it like makes it totally awesome when we're playing gigs. You know, we just feel empowered by you all. And I'm really blown cool away experience. that we've got people saying that you know they've traveled across the country yeah. to see him, or you know, in Portland, there's some people who came from Montana. Well, I'm Just sitting amazing. here from Louisiana. That's the most impressive thing. Um, Chris, I know you're in the studio with Sawyer for the recording of Four Pockets, but are there any plans for all of you to go into the studio together? I, I don't know. I think that's up to Sawyer. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah not, not at this moment, but hopefully in the future. So what's your dream venue to play at? Like, what are you hoping... Now, this doesn't mean you guys are going to be playing there, but, you know, yeah. when you think about, uh, I'd really love to play there one day, what would, where would that be? Well, I heard we're playing, the, I know we're playing the Troubadour, and that kind of blew me away. I mean, I never thought above that. I really couldn't tell you anything greater. It's almost not so much the, the actual venue. It's, I mean, if there's a responsive crowd. Yeah. You know, that, that makes a good gig. I mean, it could be anywhere, really. It's, it's more the, what you get from the crowd that makes, yeah, it makes the shows good. I think the, lis the listener is equally as important in making the music good in their own way. All right, so I've got a couple of, you can kind of just shout these out. They're not really for, you know, you don't have to each answer. Mm. But we're going to go through. It's kind of like a most likely. Um, so who's most likely to be on their phone all the time? Chris, mm. <laughs> out of but us, I'm not. Maybe out of yeah, you, not. maybe out of you three. Yeah, out of us three. <laughs> well, we can include everybody on that. Oh, everybody. Uh, Sawyer and me are on oh, the phone. Also. Yeah. Kirsten. Oh, Kirsten. Kirsten's, Kirsten's on the phone. Kirsten. Kirsten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tour what? manager. Yeah. Most <laughs> likely to be late. Uh, probably me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He likes to sleep in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Most likely to be hungry. I can go, you know. Yeah. So no <laughs> one's complaining about fun. being hungry. No, very no. Much. yeah, good, plenty of food. Good Who's time. most talkative? Bob. Bob no. <laughs> and Art Bob seems so us. quiet back there on drums. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Art lets us uh, let you beat to do the talk. Yeah. Okay, so who is the biggest prankster? <laughs> 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 Um, don't have one yet. Yeah, maybe, I guess. Sawyer, maybe. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Who's the most homesick? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe me. Yeah, I don't know. Got a dog. I got my dog back at home. I want oh, to miss yeah. my dog. What's your dog's name? Justice. What it's, kind is it? They're going to ask a, that. He's a mutt. Um, <laughs> maybe part corgi, part Australian cattle dog. I don't know. He's the man. Love my dog. Do you guys have pets you left at home? No pets. Then well, you have my, a dog? My parents, we have a dog, Copper. And I, I consider him my dog. He lives with my parents, but I see him all the time. He comes over for visits. So shout out to Copper. Okay. I'm sure he's watching. I bet he is. <laughs> okay, who's the worst driver? Um, <laughs> They're looking at you, Chris. Not me. Maybe me. <laughs> I got us out here. <laughs> yeah. 
Who's right. most likely to ask, are we there yet? Sawyer? No, he's asleep. <laughs> yeah, he sleeps and he wakes up. So he would be the most likely to be sleeping last yeah. night. Who's the most serious? Bob. No. <laughs> yeah, sure. Who's the least serious? Sawyer? Maybe me. <laughs> Why not? Sure. So, well, that is all of my questions uh, for right. our q and I'm going to flip the phone over so you can see all the love that you oh, guys cool. are getting. They have little hearts. I'm going to come around here so you guys can see. Switch it around. Oh, wowee. <laughs> so, how Thanks. do I... I don't know how to double... <laughs> see all the hearts. Okay. Thanks. So thank you guys so much for doing this. Thank Everybody you. appreciates it. You see all the love you're getting. Yeah, so. we couldn't be here without you guys. Thanks. All right, say bye. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Thanks. Fam.